Hey everybody, it's Paula from Crafting by the Pond. How's everybody doing today? I am on to share a, uh, uh, dare I say it? I went to Hobby Lobby, but in my defense, it wasn't my fault. Last week I had to go to the dentist and I met my friend, uh, for lunch in a town where we used to live. And, um, so of course they just got a Hobby Lobby. So, <laughs> you know, one in Rome. Um, so my girlfriend and I went and had a nice lunch and went to Hobby Lobby and look, you know, my cat, it's Socrates had, I don't know. He just, this was an unprovoked attack. I have no idea what happened, but anyway, uh, he's been forgiven. Um, so let me get into this. Okay. I've got a Hobby Lobby and I'm going to share with you my last Echo Park, uh, subscription box because I canceled it because I did I'm going a different way so but I'll get into that in just a minute so um there are a couple items that I purchased that were not on clearance um that I saw and I liked um so I needed these uh brads um because I'm going to be doing a project for Mother's Day and I wanted um uh, these brads I have gold ones and they were like two gold for like what I wanted so I picked those up they were not um I think yeah they were not even remotely on sale because like the paper studio or whatever they labeled this different so there you go I picked those up um and then I found these dun 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 and these are for the my fairy garden but I'm not going to use them for that I'm going to rip this stick off and I'm going to use this on my tiered tray because after Easter, I'm going to be doing a bee themed uh, tiered tray and bee theme kind of in my kitchen for the summer. Um, just until like, I don't know, the 4th of July, I think, because summer's kind of hard. Um, so I thought that would be cute. So I picked those up and like I said, I'm going to yank those uh, sticks out and again I picked this up this was in the actual fairy garden section in Hobby Lobby that is by um, the floral department in the wedding so in case you're looking for those and they were $4.99 I don't know if they ever go on sale I just I saw it and I'm like I'm getting it okay these two stamps I picked up were not on sale but did not care uh, <laughs> so um, these are a uh, Stampendous uh, clear stamp and it says uh, be happy and be uh, let's see be like a bumble be never give up you can fly and so I thought this was really really pretty um, so I picked this up I'm going to be making some cards with those and the glare will kill you <laughs> blind blind um, and then of course I love house mouse and um I just you know my dad used to call me mouse when I was little because I never talked <laughs> oh dad <laughs> uh, now I'm making up for it I guess <laughs> in my 50s um so anyway I, I did pick this one up because I thought it was very sweet and um when I saw this I I don't remember some of you know, folks that have been on here for a long time and have followed some of the other crafters kind of like in the circle that I run with and know and, um, you know, I, I was thinking about Gracie, um, and I just miss her. Um, she was very sweet. And whenever I see a house mouse, uh, stamp, I think of Gracie. So, um, but in a good you know, way. I do miss her. She was just such a kind soul. Um, but anyway, I digress. Okay. So I'm getting a little overplumped. Okay. Um, so then I picked these, uh, bumblebee stamps up because I'm going to be making a, uh, beehive out of the jute, some jute twine and a flower pot from the Dollar Tree. And so, um, these, I bought other bees before, but I thought these were kind of more realistic looking. The other ones were a little cartoony. So these, uh, you know, actually don't look cartoony. <laughs> so I thought those would work out better. So I picked those up. 
Um, those were not on sale. Okay, now to the sale. As I justify myself. <gasps> Guys, I found a black one. Black, black, black. And I found this in an area where it did not belong. It was actually in the um, fabric section fabric section and it was like buried like in the bargain basement <laughs> of the um the the fabric so and I just I found it by happy accident I think it was God um okay and then I picked up these little stars and these are uh you know they're flat back so I thought those would be good I'm going to keep these uh you know for the Christmas uh, let's see, put those to the side. I just want to get you to see everything, but I don't want you to be blinded by the glare. Um, and of course, you know, cat lover had to get the meow. Um, my Hobby Lobby ran out of these, uh, before I got there, I wasn't able to get one. So I was able to find one. And of course, another house mouse. And this is, uh, Amanda in the teacup and she was 274. So I had to pick her up. Very spring, very summer. So I thought that would be cute. Um, and then this one, I could not find the bird's return at my Hobby Lobby, but I was able to find it in the other Hobby Lobby where I went. So I know you guys have all seen these, but you know, it was new to me. I'm running out of real estate, guys. Okay. And so then I picked up this uh, stamp set from Memento with all the pretty flowers. I just thought that would look great uh, in a journal. Take up some space on a page. <laughs> Running out of real estate. And then this one I kind of waffled on. But I did pick it up because I liked this tree. And this was a Christmas set. And I know you guys have seen all of these. This is not new and exciting. These were just like my fillers of stuff I couldn't find in mine. Um, and then I picked up this book, How to Draw Woodland Animals. Now, I am not an artist. I used to be in my younger years, um, but it's a skill set I lost. But I did like it because I thought um, for like, look at the images, this bunny. Like I could copy him on my copier and cut him out. I just thought he was so cute. And um, I mean, this book normally sells for $9.95 and I paid $2.48 for it. So I mean, I really, the images are cute. Um, you know, the squirrel and then the bird, um, the fox and the butterfly. And we have a fox who lives in our property who looks just like that fox. But she's, uh, we have a female, and I think she's not as stocky as that. She's a little smaller and daintier. Ooh, and it's not every day you don't get to see a weasel. <laughs> so, uh, just different, you know, woodland creatures. And a beaver. And there's the beaver, because I live on Beaver Dam Road. So, um, yeah, I just thought this was really, really cute. Um, you know, the images... And, um, you know, like I said, I can copy those and, you know, have them in the, in the, just, you know, the, the stash for the journaling or whatever I want to do. But yeah, so I picked that up. And the last thing that I got was the paper studio. When I went, um, for this, it was 50% off. So I picked up the Easter one. Um, they're normally $5.99, so I mean, if you can score these when they're, you know, half off, that's, that's a good deal. So, I picked that one up. Okay, so that was my Hobby Lobby haul, and let me just kind of clear this all away. And you know what? I think because this video is kind of long, I will do my Echo Park unboxing in a separate video because I don't want to take up too much of your time. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks. Bye.